Well, howdy from Alderman Farms. Good evening. Y'all let us know if you can hear us. And uh, We've got something going on here with our Wi-Fi. I've got... If you feel kind of stuck in your life, or you just don't... That's on the uh, YouTube. I got the YouTube screen opened up over here. So I can stop that, pause that, and probably just close it. I'm gonna hey, close Patty. It. Um, hey, got country homestead preacher. Something going on with our with our internet is telling me my connection's unstable. I don't get that because we've yes. got a hundred megabit a second um, fiber internet here. Yeah, I'm not wired into it, but I've got a huge router, and I think maybe we've decided to conduct our streams from the one place in the house that there's like a dead zone yeah. or something. I, I don't know, but it's telling me my connection's unstable. And I don't know why. So we look okay to y'all. I mean, don't answer that. I mean, <laughs> I took a bath. <laughs> you smell nice. You smell pretty. Okay. Oh, uh, so I don't know what that's about with the unstable connection. And I can see on uh, StreamYard up here in the up here in the corner, right? I can't make you do it, but. <laughs> There's a little a little Wi Fi signal bar and it's like it's showing only one one little bar of signal. So I don't know. I have to investigate that. And we love the way that we can sit right here at this table with a little ring light. We have to make sure not to look up at the ring light because then it puts those two rings in my eyes. But cast light on us and then you can see our wood stove in the background and our black iron skillets hanging on the wall so we we like the uh we like the setting right here but it, if mm -hmm. I, I i just don't know why but this is the second or third time we've noticed that the wi-fi strength is weird sitting right here at this table um patty says that the stream yard icon looks very clear said that uh you look okay a little fuzzy but hey the beard you know Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds good. Okay, and good. I want to say hey to Linda and Haley. What else should I say? 10 13? Yeah, uh, I guess. Hey, Linda. Glad y'all are joining us tonight. Um, this is our wrap up from Sustainable Saturdays. Hey, Laurie. Um, so we, um, you know, we've went through our little series and everything, and y'all have helped us out a lot. Y'all, we, we were, our goal was to. Uh, get our things more in order to get y'all to start thinking and you also has made uh, have made us start thinking too uh, about some different things giving us some good tips and everything one of the things uh, that I just thought was in common with all the videos we we're talking about uh, well first we talked about water then we talked about cooking then we talked about the animals um, then we talked about the wood what else did we talk about? I don't remember. That was, been, that okay. was before yesterday. But anyway, um, no, the wood didn't bring us back to water, but everything, you know, revolves around water. Everything and revolves around water. We knew water was important, but, you know, it really it really is important um, with, in, in a lot of the areas. Oh, gardening. We did gardening. So, yeah. you know, water came into play. I'm glad we did do water first because... We do have a plan for water. One thing um, on our list to get is a water filtration system. We're definitely going to do that. I should have already done that. In fact, I started looking at them and then life happened and I uh, got off of that. We've got to have a rope for our well bucket and we still have a pond high on our list, but still don't know how soon that's going to be. We've got to do water catchment. <clears throat> Uh, system we actually, for the high tunnel. We put some water catchment into into practice. That's right, we did during the 2021 winter apocalypse. And you know, I'm so glad with that with the storm coming and everything that we that I guess it was a storm, whatever. The, yeah, it was a winter storm, hard freeze. Um, I'm so glad we had just got through going through these series because it really helped me to prepare. Um, and we never ran out of water. We were getting close. Uh, we were down to one gallon of water that I had poured up for us to drink. And we had two gallons of bought water. 
And so we were starting to get low on water. That was five days without a, without power. So for five days, we had to use water on hand. Yeah. And, but, you know, we knew this was coming. So I prepared. We don't, don't always know when things are coming. Now, I still have my two gallons of water left from the store. And I'll keep that um, for emergencies for if something happens. Um, because it's stable. It's shelf stable. And I know I could boil my water and have it shelf stable. And I may do that too, because, um, you know, if an emergency happened, yeah, we would have water to drink, but I wouldn't have, uh, water to wash dishes. It was just interesting that right on the heels of doing the sustainable Saturday stuff, yeah. winter storm comes rolling in and, and we, we got to implement several of the things that we talked about. Mm -hmm. You know, we, um, we were able to continue using our indoor toilets. We filled up the bathtub to the, as high as we could fill it up yep. for water to use to flush the toilets. Cause when the power goes out, we can't, we lose water pressure, so we can't flush mm -hmm. normally. And, uh, but I'm going to tell you, great. yeah, one thing that I just thought <clears throat> about this because I just saw Doug and Stacy on there. Hey, Doug and Stacy. Hey, Doug and Stacy. Um, I want to get a composting toilet for our van and for emergencies. If things happen in our house, we could always get the toilet out of the van and use inside. Yeah, good. So that's something good. I need to write on my list. I want to say, Hey to bandana grandma and Valerie. Grandma. Hey, Billy. Glad y'all cool. joined us. Um, Doug, so, Doug, have y'all thawed out up there? Man, ooh. they were living and they had like, 700 days of 200 degrees below zero or something like that. It was, I couldn't even bear to watch it, which, which I couldn't watch it yeah, when we, we didn't we have could, any power. No. Oh. We didn't do a lot of watching of things. That's but for man, sure. Man, I know Doug was, I, I, I know he made a comment somewhere. I don't know if it's on Facebook or somewhere that their systems were, were getting put to the stress. They, they were undergoing a stress test uh, yeah. with, the, with the winter storm there. Um, and he said, man, Oh, I forgot about this. I forget on this stream yard thing. This is so cool. Man, that was cold. I know you guys were way, way colder than way colder than, than we, we are. are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but y'all are a little more used to dealing with stuff. A lot of y'all are. I know Bandana Grandma, that's what I told her. I said, I want to trade our weather back. Uh, she checked on us a few yeah. times and I said, well, I want to go ahead and trade our weather because she was warmer up there in uh, Maryland than we were down in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's not right. But, they were warmer in Alaska than, than we were in Mississippi. It's just, it's just crazy. But, and Tommy said um, that if this was our weather all the time, we would not be farmers. So. No, that's right. <laughs> I think, and in fact, I said, uh, I had, uh, oops, I'm still learning, learning stream yard. Y'all give me just a moment here. Um, uh, this I had just got finished saying that. Yeah, when, when Patty was shooting this video, and I said, I, "I can tell you this: if this is the weather we had to do this in, not me." And and we got up, we got up to eighty-one degrees. Let me yesterday. do something with, with Toby here. And, uh, so it was, it was, and, and today we were out working planting trees. That we got at the uh, tree sale Thursday, and it's just. It, I was sweating. It just was hot outside. So uh, it's the, the the variance, and I've had like sinus issues going on because of the back and forth with the temperatures. Just drives me crazy. But you know, that's you know, we know we've got a lot of work to do with our water situation. Um, I do want to get uh, the water catchment system, especially over at the high tunnel, going because um, had this week that we had happen. Now we were only without power for five days, but had that happened in the summertime, I would have been having, having to uh, carry water to water the high tunnel because, you know, as y'all know, we don't, it doesn't rain inside of the high tunnel. So uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to rig up some kind of gut gutters on there or how we're going to do it, but we've got to get water to at least get those two five gallon buckets uh, barrels that we have, not five gallon, 50 gallon, 55 gallon. 55 gallon barrels to fill up. And just from where I had it set on the edge of the high tunnel, it did get some water in it, but not, um, not more, uh, not enough to do anything with. But, um, and talking about the high tunnel, that's one thing that um, I've got to really come up with a system of how I can save my seeds. 
uh, like we discussed before, you know, I can save a lot of my seeds. I have saved a lot of different seeds, but as far as really being proficient and, and knowing how to save all the different seeds, I haven't done that. Well, Toby didn't say we're talking. No, about Toby's time. not going to be satisfied. So y'all just got to listen to him coughing up lungs. Uh, he's old and he's has about a little heart problems. Years so old that's he, a dog. That's Toby's our dog. He thinks I got food at the table. So yeah, that's right because we're sitting at the table. So he's pacing back and forth behind <laughs> us. <laughs> hey. But anyway, uh, we uh, I want to do more succession plant planting too because we can pretty much grow year round now. My green beans that I had in the high tunnel, which they were producing, they'd kind of gotten dormant. And uh, my tomato plants, I had seen blooms like on like <laughs> two weeks before the, the weather turned so cold. Um, but, you know, they're all gone now. So yeah. um, anyway, but so maybe two months out of the year, we wouldn't be able to be harvesting very much. And so... Uh, that's one thing that I, I want I to do anything, Toby. Um, and mulching around in our areas and get more garden beds growing. I, you know, I'm, we moved our garden over to where the high tunnels at and I ha I'm not growing as much stuff over there. And, you know, my goal is always to grow all the food that we, that we eat but with, uh, you know, not rice and wheat, of course, but most everything. Yeah. So, Grandma said it makes you more amazed at the Canadians who do four season gardening of food. Well, speaking of yeah. uh, uh, speaking of that, we were just talking to we had a, if you saw our most recent um, uh, hashtag follow Friday, we, we interviewed Adrian at Farmstead Smith and she lives in the high desert area of Oregon and they her her first frost. It's like September. Their last frost is in June. <laughs> yeah. So they have like a three-month three growing months. season. Yeah, right there in Oregon. So I, I just, I don't know how. Man, I don't know it. how they do that. Um, And uh, Patty says, I need to get the book Seed to Seed. I have that book. I really like that do book. Do you really? Yeah. And um, so, um, but it, it's, you know, and, and a lot of the seeds that I haven't saved, it's not necessarily that I haven't even learned. I don't know how to do it. It's just I have not done it. I just want to get into a routine of trying to save all of my seeds and not purchasing any outside seeds. Yeah. Um, just It would just be a good practice because, you know, this year a lot of the seed companies didn't have some of the seeds because so many people were buying seeds. And mm -hmm. I think, I think they've restocked. I've gotten some notices from quite a few of them that, you know, they have more seeds in stock, but you know, you can't just, you know, open up production and make more seeds. If, if they haven't been saved from the year before, <laughs> right, right. you know, you know they don't they're make them, there. they don't make them in the back of Walmart or yeah, something in yeah. the Walmarts. That's right. Walmart. So. Um, and one, another thing we're going to try and start doing is growing more things for our animals to mm -hmm. eat. Um, not that we have to do that right now, but I think it would be a good practice. It would cut down on the amount of feed that we are feeding them that we buy. And um, it, we would just be in more of a routine to that. So I'm going to plant Tommy a bunch. I'm going to do it by, in the uh, little seed trays. I'm going to plant him a bunch of pumpkins to set out. So he's going to have him a pumpkin field. I need year. me a pumpkin patch for yeah. my pigs. So. Uh, you know, so we're going to start doing that. Uh, I've got to practice some of my uh, cooking skills. Uh, during the storm, the cooking was no big deal. I had cooked up tons of stuff for us to eat. We ate really good. Um, I only had to cook, um, let's see, a few uh, times. It ain't working. Can't put a picture up. He's know. trying to show you some pictures. But um, I don't know why they, there it goes. There it is. So we did have hot dogs. I had made a big pot of chili and I cooked. I, and this was before the power went out. I didn't have to cook on the wood stove. I just decided to cook on the wood stove. But um, I did cook. I cooked sloppy joes on the gas stove and I cooked, I cooked up some chicken and gravy. And so I think that's the only thing I really had to cook. Because, yeah, because you cooked leftovers. up ahead of time. Yeah. And but like I said, we knew this was coming. So I had stuff cooked up. Mm -hmm. So I did do a lot of reheating on the wood stove. Um, 
you know, we would decide what we'd want. And I'd put it in a pot and I'd put it on the wood stove and I'd let it go. And then my breakfast, I loved heating up my biscuits on the wood stove. I, and I had cooked up a bunch of sausage and bacon. I did the same thing. I heated that up on the wood stove. And that worked perfectly. We need to cook more in the sun oven. Yes. We need to, we need to, to get, become proficient at cooking yes. in the sun oven. Yeah. Um, which that, you know, that's not a quick thing. It's not like cooking on the stove, but it could take half a day or longer to cook something. But well, typically though, if it's a good warm day, it's, it's sunny. not that bad. Yeah. yeah. Sunny day. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a warm day. Just yeah. needs to be sunny. Yeah. Uh, but I, I wish we'd have thought to do that during the bitter cold temperatures. I wish we would have thought to try to cook something. Well, you did mention it one time, but it was kind of, kind of too busy. I, I didn't. Yeah. I, I wasn't into that then. So. Cause I'd be curious if <clears throat> ambient temperature is real cold outside, mm -hmm. but the sun is shining brightly, uh, mm -hmm. how that would work. One thing I noticed about, you know, getting around the kitchen and everything, um, Everything takes longer because it's not what you're used to doing. You kind of really, by the time we got our power back, I had gotten pretty proficient with what I was doing. You know, like um, I didn't fill up a sink uh, to wash dishes. Uh, if I had cooked, if I heated something up in a pot, once that pot was empty, I put my water in it and I put it on the stove and I, I used my pot to wash dishes in, you know, because it was only a few dishes because I did have a paper plates and stuff like that. But, um, you know, so everything just takes longer because you're not used to living that way. Yeah. You know, and you have to plan ahead a little bit more. Even though I had my food cooked up, I couldn't zap it in the microwave. You know, I think we only ate sandwiches one day, mm -hmm. I think which so. I was kind of disappointed. Yeah. I wasn't disappointed because we had such good food to eat. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm easy. I could eat sandwiches every day of my life or wraps with Patty's. Uh, the pita bread. The, the pita good. that she makes. Yeah. Um, Patty, uh, the tinkerer's wife said, learn to grow it now means you don't have to be learning how to later when you have when to. When you have to, yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. And and that's the same about what I was talking about getting around in the kitchen. Um, you know, we, I guess we should have drills. Yeah. <laughs> Snow drills. It honestly helped. We had me. fire drills in school. Might as well have snow drills yeah. in the kitchen. It honestly helped me uh, going through this series and it, it li even just talking it out uh, with our goats. You know, we're still we still have green stuff growing and everything, but with the ice and everything on the ground, they couldn't find a nibble of anything. But I took my chainsaw and I went out and I cut some privet hedge for them to eat, and you know it worked. You know they were happy. They were so glad to have it. I actually, I went over in my high tunnel. Toby, I don't have anything. He's so, he thinks we're eating something good up here. Um, I went to the high tunnel. I had, um, I've already harvested my broccoli. I'm just harvesting the little side shoots now. And so I went out there and I cut some broccoli leaves. I cut off some old, older cabbage leaves, um, some celery that's got too big, that's stringy. And I fed that to them too. So that, and I thought about the video. I thought, you know, it's important that we have extra stuff growing that we can feed our animals. Yeah, they so. they enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. They really did. I'm not they sure really if the uh, P, it, oh, that ain't where I wanted to show. That's where I wanted to show the pigs with their uh, ice insulation on yeah. top of them. They did fine. They yeah, went, they did good. They buried up under some mulch piles and. Um, just did fine. Mm -hmm. So they really did. They did they did very good. Um one thing I thought about was to get uh reusable canning lids too. Um I, I'm just a little scared to do that because I, I I I hear there's a learning curve to it. Um but that's one thing that I've thought about doing is getting some uh reusable canning lids. Um so uh course with for the wood tommy hmm. wants to get uh a two-man crosscut saw failing axe um oh he thought about sharpening tools too i don't think we mentioned that on the video yeah to make sure that i have yeah, yeah so I, i'd like to get a two-man crosscut saw and a one-man because i might not uh, i might need to do it by myself yeah because i mean honestly didn't help that much with animals. I probably have because I was busy. The files that I would need to sharpen, but I don't know. I haven't. Uh, there's something I need to research. Is how do you sharpen a crosscut saw and uh, a cross buck or whatever you call it? And uh, I'd like to get one or felling axes 
And then, you know, I've got the wedges and, and that kind of stuff. But, yeah. So there's just, you know, there's, we've got quite a list of things that we want to get that we want to practice. Mm -hmm. too. Speaking so. of practice. And then grandma says, good way to test your preps is turn off the main switch to the electric panel and see how you do for 24 hours. Yeah. All of a sudden. Or five too. days. Yeah. This was a five day test. This was a five but day test. That I we think were we passed. That we were prepared for. We yeah. passed the test. Yeah. And another thing we want to get is some screen doors because, you know, it gets really hot down here in Mississippi. And so we would need the air circulation. Um, and, you know, you may you may recall us saying this, but for those of you who haven't seen us discuss, discuss it in previous videos, by the grace of God, the house is positioned in such a way that there is one particular door in what I'll call the back of the house that if you open that door and any window or door up here in the front of the house a constant breeze blows. Mm -hmm. Constant. It's like an automatic suction. With just that one door, uh, it's, the, it's the, the exit door coming out of what we still call Mama's room. It's where Patty's mom it's her, was her bedroom. And if you open that door and have any other window or door up here open, it's just a, a natural draw. So we're thankful that God orchestrated that just right for us. And so we've got to get a screen door back there. Yep. Yep. And a few other things that we thought about that we really didn't mention in the videos was a wind up clock. You know, while, while the power was out, we do have a clock on the wall over there um, that takes batteries. So that wasn't a big deal. Of course we had our iPhones and everything. Um, but uh, a wind up clock would probably be very useful. I think Doug and Sam is a cuckoo clock. Yeah, I think that's yeah. right. Yeah, I think that's right. And I would have liked to have had a thermometer outside. <laughs> we do. I do have my an analog uh, thermometer, an old fashioned regular yes, thermometer. Yes. Um, we do have uh, one that we stick in the ground in the high tunnel. And um, I did think to go out there because my temperature in my high tunnel hadn't gotten below 55 of the ground for the ground. But this is it during our coldest days, and it was 42. My ground temperature was 42. So I was very, very thankful that I um, had not planted anything uh, in the ground because that is that was that would have been a little too cold. And typically, I would have had my tomato plants for the farmer's market in the ground, mm. but I haven't even planted them in my seed trays yet. I was supposed to that today, but I'm running very, very behind in my seed planting. <laughs> um, it's okay. We had a winter apocalypse. Yeah, well, we have an excuse. That's not why I'm so late. But yet, on the uh, other hand, we would have had chickens and tons of plants in here. Oh so my gosh. I guess it was good. Yeah, that, we uh, had 51 chickens in the living room. That that that. And I'm um, not talking about little bitty ones. We got six little bitty ones in the living room right now. Yes, no big deal. I bought some more. She bought some little baby Easter mm -hmm. eggs, and we got. They're this big, and, and they're in a being over right now. No, no. We had 51 three-week-old chickens. Well, and, and, and they're meat, meat chickens. From meat Rangers, chicken. So they still weren't little. They, oh, were, they were big. Oh, and they stuck. It, 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 it was bad. It was bad. bad. So we don't, uh, well, that's one thing. That, that leads into the, that we plan to have um, an area, a barn, stall, something built that we can completely close in. That mm -hmm. would keep our animals uh, sheltered uh, a lot better than what they were, and without having to bring chickens inside. Um, and and I was just afraid because we were going to get down to was it they going back and forth between nine uh, and said, eleven? Yeah, they said eight, eight was the lowest yeah. projection. So and the night that it was potentially going to get to eight, they had by the time that day rolled around, I think it had adjusted up to twelve, and then. In real life, it got to 17. No, so. uh -uh. I think it got colder than that, didn't it? No. Anyway, so we need we need something, a place that we can put our animals without having to bring them inside. Because mm -hmm. I, honestly, I would have had a goat inside had she had babies that night. Yeah. I would have brought her inside. We still, I've been, I'm putting down my new floor, still working on it, but I still, in two of the bedrooms, I, I still have a concrete floor. So I could have put her in there without ruining my new floor. So <laughs> I, I would have brought my goat inside had she had babies. But she didn't, and I'm thankful. And she still hasn't. Oh, so. man, I'm yawning already. But uh, another thing we thought about, too, is information. How do you get, you know, grid down situation, you know, no communication. Um, 
you know, you want to be able to get information. So, um, you know, that's something that we need to talk about. Hey, Pia. Hey, Pia. But anyway, so it was good practice. But listen, I have a guest for the show tonight that uh, to talk about the winter storm um, and how his experience was. And so I would like to introduce my guest to you. You want to grab that bar stool over there, sir? Bring it over here. Can you scoot over a little bit? Yeah. We have us a guest that we're going to talk about how his experience was with, with the winter storm. And it's Hello. Tomas. Tomas, back at the farm. Yes, indeed. No, it's on my phone. Oh, Brevin's watching too. <laughs> yeah. He's got he's got his friend Brevin oh, watching us yep. here. Do you need Say to turn it up straight? <laughs> okay. Like that? So wait a minute. What? Say hey to everybody, Brevin. He's on mute. He's on mute. <laughs> You're on YouTube, Brevin. <laughs> and all of our tips. <laughs> Our tens and tens of viewers are, are seeing you now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, I wanted to talk with Tomas. I thought about that and ask him how his experience was with Papa's call it the winter apocalypse. Yeah, I called that at the store. It was really fun. Me and Reverend had a blast. So when we woke up, so this is what we did when we woke up. I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, Brevin's asleep. And I, I kept trying to wake him up and then my mom called me. And she was like, "Don't wake up, Brevin." And then, and then, <laughs> and then I went back and I and I woke him up. <laughs> and and I was like, "Hey, it's, it's snowing outside." And I made him look out the window. Hey, right, Brevin. <laughs> yeah. So he we woke him up, and then my mom called us. My call, my mom called me, and she was like, "Why did you wake him up?" And uh, she was and I and she was like, "Um, you know, he's probably gonna be tired in like the middle of the day." And I was like. Okay, so we started. We went and got our boogie boards, and we started sledding on the on the roads. So like we we got on our knees, and we went like on the boards. And at first, I fell off every single time. <laughs> it was so funny. I should have. Yeah, I'll pretend I didn't show you this yet. <laughs> <laughs> and so, That's us, yeah. So you like you like the weather then you like the, uh, uh, I loved it, but then I started getting sick of it when it started staying for so long. You did, yeah. And how long was it on the ground up there where you live? Mm, like a week. A week. Yeah, about so, a week. So you were getting tired of it, huh? Oh yeah. So how many days did you have to stay home? Could you not go anywhere? Oh, like four days, and we started going places. Four days. We were home. We were home five days. No, Reverend saying five days. Mm -hmm. We were home five days before we ventured out either. A lot of people did go out in four wheel drives and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. you know, we just we had everything we needed. So did y'all lose power? No, we did not. But so what would have happened if y'all would have lost power? Tomas lives in an apartment with his mom. So what would you have done? Do you have a wood burning stove to heat it? Do you have a we have, we have candles? But you have candles? Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. What about how to cook food? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Um, so, what was your plan if y'all would have lost power? I probably could have survived the playing game without internet. You could have survived and without then, internet? And then, if we did have the snow, we could just bounce off. Oh, no, I'm sorry. But how would you have kept warm? Uh, I would just wrap around my blankets. Well, I had talked to your mama about a plan. Uh, she's got a friend. Brevin's mom also uh, lives in the apartment with them. And I, Chelsea, my daughter, Chelsea, Tomas's mom, had made the plan that they were just going to all get together and pile in the bed together and <laughs> bring all their blankets and cover up. Because, you know, <laughs> you know, I've always told my kids, if anything happens, y'all come to the farm. But uh, was it possible to come to the farm with this? So anyway. All right, so anything else you want to tell us about the winter apocalypse at your house? Oh, also, my dad's um, girlfriend, AK, she actually lost power, so she had to come to our house for a night. And then went back to her house. She survived without power, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, you know, my we, I, me and my dad have a dog, Coco. She loved the snow. Oh, did she? Did she? Yeah, she loved yeah, it. Yeah, our dogs had yeah, a, got a kick out of snow, too. Yeah. Well, that's it. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate you coming, dropping by for your expert uh, testimony. <laughs> Say bye, Brendan. 
A lot of people said, hey, to you. And to. Yeah, people um, commented Brevin. and said, hey, Brevin. Yeah. All right. You can watch the replay on YouTube, Brevin. Oh, okay, cool. I need, cool. I need the no, baby, I've got to have the charger right now. All right. So, <clears throat> also, um, wait. What? She just popped in. I know. That's oh, okay. what reminded me of this. Okay, good. When we did the video, because uh, we, no, no. we need to be wrapping up soon. Yeah. Um, I had done a gardening video, and um, Mimsy's garden was on there. Hey, Anna. But anyway. She blessed me with some seeds. Look how cute. Just garden. Anyway, she gets, sent me some peppers. And I think somebody even mentioned this tomato. Oh, really? So I'm excited about it. And this is what I'm most, most excited about. Spaghetti squash. I talked about how I haven't had a lot of success with the spaghetti squash. And um, she sent me these. And Mimsy, from what I uh, understand on here, is that there's sm it's it's a small wonder spaghetti squash. So I'm thinking they're going to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just I'm just really excited about this because honestly, with me and Tommy, when I do cook a spaghetti squash, the normal size ones, they um, it's really too much. And I have frozen it before, but it doesn't uh, do just great. Um, somebody said, let's see, Suburban Hill, they said, Junior, dry feet are delicious. Oh, is that what that is? Tomato. This is Kellogg's breakfast. But anyway, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Mimsy's Garden for sending me these seeds. Uh, I'm definitely going to be planting them. I haven't planted any of my seeds yet, so I've got to get busy doing that. Um, Yes, I love to crochet uh, spaghetti squashes. Her favorite. Yes, I like them too. So I was just so excited. But I do thank you so, so very much. Um, anyway, I was just coming back through the comments, just taking a look. Um, if I missed anything while Tomas was on there. So, whoops. We, uh, uh, Pia says she misses the snow living in California. Uh, uh, so I used to go downhill skiing every winter. Ooh. Well, you know, my sister's going. Um, I think I need to turn it light back on. That looks creepy back there. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, my sister's going skiing, and um, she, she's debate. She's 13 years older than me, and she's not for sure if she's going to ski or not. But I got that. I, I'm like, I don't know if I, I've only skied one time, and I. You know, I, could, I wouldn't say that I could ski, you know, I mean, I, I did it, but um, I uh, I don't think it right now I would try skiing. I would be scared that it would hurt too oh, much. Oh, I would do it. You would, yeah, especially if snow was soft. I seem like it would powder. hurt. No, but you know how you have to do it and all? I seem like it would hurt my knees. It might. Yeah, maybe so. Hey, keep an eye out for a video I've got coming up here shortly. I got, well, I had, I got shot. It. I hadn't shot the video yet, but. One of our, we did a hashtag follow Friday two weeks ago, or, or did, not this Friday, but the previous Friday with T Hand 141, uh, which was nice because they, at the time we did it, they had like 75 subscribers and uh, we were able to make up, to bring them up over 100, which is a, which is very nice thing to do. Uh, not, a, not a nice thing to do. I didn't mean to be patting ourselves on the back. I meant it was a nice feeling. Uh, that we were able to push them over a hundred, but <laughs> when uh, when uh, when I was stalking their channel pr before doing the interview to see if we wanted to to promote them, uh, I commented. I subscribed, of course, and uh, at that time I was subscriber number sixty seven, I think, or sixty nine, and he was doing a giveaway uh, and. Uh, just a random giveaway for his subscribers. So I had a one in 67 chance to win. And I won this really won. cool hyper tough solar LED street light. And it is so neat. I've got it. I, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. There you go. But I've got it mounted on uh, 
one of the at the corner post out at the road where our gate is, and it's motion detected. And uh, really neat. It's really neat. And so uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So we'll be doing. I'll be doing a shout out video uh, showing how that works here in the near future. Um, also, um, Pia says she's got an instant pot now. Yay! Yay That's Pia. so good. That is so good. I'm going to uh, be doing some recipes with the instant pot shortly. I learned, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this trick that I just learned today. Um, you know how, uh, like when you pound your ground meat in instant pot, say like you're making. I think uh, that's Susan Sullivan. <coughs> oh, you did? Yeah. He um, says, ha, ha, Tommy says, talk. Yeah, but it was in a, it, it was a, in a non-criminal sort of way, Susan. But anyway, um, like when you're making, you know, saute, browning your ground meat and everything, and you want to saute your onion, you kind of got, you got to stand there and kind of stir it around and everything. I did today in the instant pot, I had browned my ground meat, and I thought, I don't feel, I don't want to just stand here and keep stirring this onion. So I put the lid on it. And I cooked it for two minutes on high pressure and my onions and I had bell pepper too. I'm making spaghetti tomorrow. And um, the onions were and the bell pepper were perfect. Just two minutes cooked in the instant pot. So I'm excited. Oh, bandana grandma, what did you say? We can't, we're so blind. We have to put comments on the big screen like this just so we can read them. Says I love my instant oh, pot. No. Stop working. Might try to replace the fuse wire. Oh man. Yeah, Patty loves her. Yeah, I like mine. Now, I've had we've had a few issues of the instant pot. Uh, like if you don't clean the lid every time, like I don't do, uh, sometimes it won't pressure up mm -hmm. like it's supposed sometimes to. So it you gotta watch seal it. Just right. So, so now I don't walk away until the pressure is up like it's supposed to. Oh, Patty, I need oh, to. Oh my need goodness! To, you've got to. Uh, we're gonna send you a send you, you a message, get my, Patty. Yeah. So because. Uh, and Pia, do you? Ours. Yes, yes. And I have a little instant pop book. But Pia, do you have my instant pop book? Didn't I send you one of those? I hope you. I hope I did, because I uh, that package that I sent. Um, I thought I had sent you one. Um, but anyway, uh, so I still I use my instant pot a lot, and I did miss that. Watch this. Well, you know, not Toby. No, it's uh, no, I'm saying uh, it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. So here's what I'm going to do. You got to help me remember to do this. OK. Yeah. Patty has my Patty <laughs> has a uh, 20 easy Instant Pot recipes ebook. And I'm going to put a discount code on. Uh, of, it's only five dollars. If I'm going to put a discount code that will only be good for like 12 hours. And you can get it for free. Streamyard. Yeah. Type there you go. Streamyard as a discount code, and you can get Patty's uh, 20 easy instant pot recipes ebook for free. For free. Now, you got to give me a minute. 12 hours only. 12 hours only. Now, it's give not me a there minute. Now. It's not there now. So you'll need to wait. Um, you'll need to give me an hour or so. As soon as, as, soon as we end this stream, I'll mm -hmm. go do that. Mm -hmm. And you'll only have like 12 hours. So if you're watching this on a replay, hey, I'm sorry. Um, but next time be on the live stream, I guess. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Country Homestead Preacher says they were actually trying to sell theirs because oh, they weren't no. sure. Look, I, I'm telling you, I love mine. Get that instant pot book. It's got basic recipes, how to make rice, how to boil eggs. Um, see, look, Linda loves look, her. Linda loves her instant oot too. <laughs> is that, uh, is that, is that, is that close to an instant pot, Linda? I'm just kidding. I know she just fat fingered that it happens to me all the time. Now, uh, Patty says that uh, she has the duo. Where did that go? And could make yogurt, but haven't tried it yet. I've made yogurt in mine too. Um, in fact, I started doing a video on it, and I I may have that footage still on my phone. I never put it together, or either I forgot to record something or something like that. I need to go back and look. But my goats will soon be having babies, so I will be making yogurt again. And it does work very good in the instant pot. Uh, Pat, the Tinker's wife wants to know if the if the discount code is 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 caps sensitive. I don't think so, uh, but I think the way I type it in there will be like all lower caps. So the system will tell you if it recognizes it or not. I don't think it matters. I think you could type it in 
either way and it'll take it. But um, I'm going to, my intention is for it to be all lower caps. Mm -hmm. um, Bandana said that she's got the, uh, she had the, wait, where'd it go? It keeps moving, y'all. That's because people are talking. No, it's because I put this cursor up there too. She said, Bandana said she's got the big one. Um, and that's going to be the eight quart, I believe. Um, yeah. I have an Unless eight. Unless they've got a bigger one. Yeah. And she said she's put three whole chickens there. And that's why I got the eight quart. That was the first one I got was the eight quart because we grow our, we raise our own chickens. And, you know, sometimes it'll be a five or six In pound In the living chicken. room. Sometimes. Um, sometimes it'll be five or six pounds. And so I wanted it to be able to fit in the instant pot where I can cook the whole chicken. Um, but the only drawback to having the big one is that it does take longer to pressure up when yeah. you're making smaller amounts. So that's why I did uh, get a, a six quart one too. And I really like it. Patty, I think I saw said that she's got a three quart and a six quart. So, um, wow. Three quart. Hey, By the way, the link, Homestead. the link, you see the link is on, is on underneath Patty oh, ten there. Quart. Yeah, it's a ten quart. Alderfarms.net slash ebooks, but just hang on because the uh, discount code is not going to be ready. Um, the discount code is going to be Streamyard. Yard. It's up at the up, at, up in the corner, right? Yeah, there. One, one word. Streamyard, one word, and it'll be all lowercase. You know what? Hey, two family homestead. Where's your uh, computer? It's over there on Keep the little table. Keep talking. Um, but anyway, so back to the, the little cookbook. Um, if you, and if y'all just joining us, um, Tommy's announced that we're giving away my instant, uh, what is the name of it? 20 Easy Instant, pot, 20, recipe. 20 easy instant pot Recipe ebook. And um, it's for free. And you just have to use the code StreamYard. It's right here in the top of your screen. And so it's only going to be good for 12 hours. And so I told you we have, it's rice and I have a recipe for rice, um, the, the instructions, eggs. I have uh, jambalaya, uh, what else, spaghetti, and which you can make the chili going by the spaghetti recipe. Um, and the spaghetti, it just, it's so good that it, um, it, you know, spaghetti tastes so good when you cooked it a long time. And with the Instant Pot, you can cook it on 12 minutes, and it tastes like you cooked it all day long. Oh, thank you. I love to crochet. She put alderinforms.net slash ebooks code stream. Yeah, thank That's you. That's great. Hey, Darlene Thompson. Hey, Celia. All right. Let's see if I can remember. But I just, I really like mine. And we have, and, and Patty, uh, the Tinker's wife, had said she's looking forward to recipes. If you go and search on our YouTube page, I have done quite a few recipes uh, with the Instant Pot. And I just, I use it for all kinds of things. And I really need to expand that ebook, and I've been writing. Uh, I, you can actually print it out. Um, so I've been I've been writing recipes in the back of mine that I've been converting over to the Instant Pot. But you know, you can take a lot of the recipes that I have in my book, and uh, like just the chicken that you're making with your with your making jambalaya, you can still do the chicken the same way to make chicken and dumplings. That's what I do. You know. All right, you just keep talking. Okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have oh, to jump over here. Me a pop book. Right quick, let me grab All it. All right, well, good. So they're just looking at me as because I can't. I don't remember my password for the uh, for the web page. Yeah, for no for the the site that I need. But to they go can still do. see us now. Yeah, they can see us. Okay. but I can't see them. We never can see them, baby. Well, I can't. <laughs> have you seen them before? No. <laughs> I see uh, dead people. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes is really good in the Instant Pot. Your potatoes have so much more flavor, um, and you only cook them with, like, one cup of water. And it doesn't matter how many potatoes you put in there. You're going to cut up in little cubes and put that one cup of water. Because typically when you make mashed potatoes, you're boiling them in a pot of water. And so you're cooking out a lot of the flavor. But by just using the one cup, you know, you're not cooking that much uh, flavor out. So it's mashed potatoes, and then I have potato salad, uh, corn on the cob, and then see, this is where I need to update. I have frozen summer peas, butter beans, or green beans, but I've also learned to do cauliflower, broccoli, and cabbage. Cabbage comes out, it's five minutes for the cabbage, and it comes out wonderful. So, wonderful. 
Oh, yeah. If you invited them up on the panel, you could see them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to make it. So I can't, I can't, I can't make it go for 12 hours. I'm going to make, so it's going to go till uh, 11.59 p.m. tonight. Oh, okay. So uh, tonight only. Yeah. Um, also. Uh, it is active. Oh, it's active now. So. You know what? It made the code. It looks like it's all caps automatically. It looks like it did it. That's not caps. Right. Oh, right there. That is. Oh, okay. So all caps. StreamYard and all caps. Uh, red beans and rice. Uh, somebody go there. try it. See if it works. Yeah, somebody please try it for sweet pea soup. Vegetable beef soup, squash bisque. Oh, squash bisque is so good, y'all. It is really good. I, we haven't had that in a long time. Spaghetti. And it's some stuff called spaghetti stuff. You can't do that. Uh, oh, meatloaf. I took my sister. My sister makes great meatloaf. I don't really like meatloaf that much. But uh, she, I really like her meatloaf. And so we uh, took her meatloaf recipe. She puts barbecue sauce in it, and I guess that's why I like it. But uh, we took her meatloaf recipe and converted it over to the Instant Pot yeah. and did it with um, with potatoes and green beans. So it's a one-pot meal, So and it was turned out really good. And then, oh, roast. How to do a roast in there. A whole chicken, which Bandana Grandma said that she had done a whole chicken. And the jambalaya. So it's 20, and then see, I've written, I've come up, written other recipes in here that I have done because I'm going to expand the book we need to do one it. day. One day. It takes a long time to type out recipes and stuff. Anyway. Um, hey, Brother Deborah, well, uh, you're, you're not too late because um, Tommy has given away our easy instant 20, 20 easy instant, instant pot, pot recipes. recipes book, book. It's a mouthful. E -book. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so link, go to this link, aldermanfarms.net ebook. You have a hard time with that. I'm okay. better than you. Aldermanfarms.net slash ebooks and select the 20 it, easy Instant Pot recipes book. And at the checkout, use discount code. Oops, oh sorry, baby. God. Sorry. Stream yard. Mm, I'm not typing now. anywhere. You don't have to. I love to crochet and taking care of everything. Oh, okay. You see? Yep. Thank she you, Susan. It. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. That. Stream yard. And I think it needs to be all caps because I typed it in all lowercase. And when I saved it, it, it turned it into all caps. So, uh, Patty says that she's done ham and beans. That was amazing. There it is. Used to pressure cook foods in a pressure cooker and really like that. Well, there you go, Patty. Then it's not such a learning curve for me because I did too. I grew up with my mom using a regular pressure cooker on the stove, and then I always used it on the stove. And so an instant pot wasn't that big of a deal. It's a little bit of learning curve because I think, you know, the, the instant pot or uh, pressure canner, uh, I mean, not pressure canner. That confirmation. Text and life says the download works. Oh, great. So that's great. awesome. Thank you. Thanks for stopping in, Mindy. But anyway. Um, and thanks for the gift. Yes. I call her Mindy. Mindy's gone. Yeah, Anna. Yes. I know, but it's like Mindy turned yeah. in. <laughs> that's what I, I do. I think that. it is. Oh, well, that's what I thought too. It's Mindy's. No, it's mom. not. It's Anna. I was sorry to say it's Anna Mimsy, but it's not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, not. Oh, Bandana said it worked, and she thinks she used all lowercase. So okay. anyway, good. Cool. That's working. I forgot what I was saying. You should have been saying goodbye because we, we need to wrap it up. Yep. It's time to wrap up. Big Bear's it's coming on at 7, and yep. he's got a big surprise. <gasps> Does he? Actually, it's a little surprise, but he has a surprise. He's got a surprise. And he let me in on it. He uh, calls me. He calls me Uncle Tommy. Because you got gray right hair and he don't. I guess. Well, don't feel. He calls you Aunt Patty. He don't call me Aunt Patty. He does too. He may not call you Aunt Patty to your face, but I'm he calls you Aunt Patty new. to me. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right, Suburban. Thanks for dropping in. All right. So, anything else? Not I can think of. I think we went over everything I had on my list. I had I had long list. You can't see it. Be on the lookout yeah. for Monday meditation. Uh, this this coming Monday, I did one again. Patty, Patty's up, and uh, she's going to talk to you about overcoming fear. She's going to talk to you how 
about how what the the passage of scripture that the Lord used to to allow Patty to conquer fear. Patty was for a long time uh, held captive to mm -hmm. some pretty deep fear. I didn't even know it. Well, I knew I knew it some to some degree, but not to the level. But God is good, and mm -hmm. uh, he, he used a verse of scripture that is still very, very important to Patty. And she's going to talk to you about that at dark 30 Monday, Monday morning. morning. I think I got it set to go at 4 a.m. early risers, which doesn't include me. Anyway, mm -hmm. and then I got to get, then we hopefully we'll have another hashtag follow Friday. And uh, for you, oh, shoot, we didn't even talk about our crazy short video. Oh, well, tell it right Man, quick. Yeah, it we, we, yeah, shoot, we're going to miss everybody. But we did a short about making, what do you call it? Cush, cush. Cush, cush. So I thought I was Mr. Smart Guy and knew how to spell it. Well, no, he went and looked it up on the internet. Couscous. Yeah, you know, he said his style was pronounced. C O U S C O U S. And it hit the short shelf that this morning it had 186 views. The last time I checked, it was like almost 36,000 views. Isn't or that crazy? Uh, or no, no, almost 39. I don't remember. But it was, and, and tons of people from all over the world saying, Yeah, that's not couscous. That's not couscous. And, uh, oh, they they were like up in arms about it. Yeah. So what I it's what I should have put comments. was kush kush instead of couscous. Anyway, it's hilarious, and it just blew up. I can't even so, say what it is now. You're not saying kush kush. Kush kush. I don't know. Whatever it is. I can't even say my so name. So Patty now. came out and confronted <laughs> me, and we did another short. Uh, where she called a live reaction. Yeah, Patty I didn't tell him. Like, I really sure didn't make me look stupid. Yeah, I said, you made me look stupid on YouTube. <laughs> oh, too funny. It was funny. All right. I didn't so, get mad. Except that, that when you just hit me in the glasses like that. Did I mess your glasses up? I'm, I'm sorry. Hurt. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> night, right. y'all. Have a good, good evening. Night, y'all. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.